what about Robin Guthrie? What made you you switched from a male protagonist mm -hmm. to a female protagonist and you've dealt with not just crimes and, and the the solving of those, but also the, and I think what's touched a lot of people is the relationship between Robin and her mother and, mm -hmm. and the sort of very human side of this. Yeah. This isn't just a, look, something bright is flashing over here and here's a loud noise. It's yeah. very much about the human yeah. connection. It is, yeah. What, what drove you to that? It was my own mother. <laughs> Lizzie is my mother, um, who passed away about, about six, seven years ago. And uh, prior to that, she was in an assisted living place and she had dementia. It was not Alzheimer's, but because she never didn't recognize me. But it was, it was a very difficult time to go through and, and it's very expensive. Assisted living is very expensive, and she had so much money. And once that ran out, we, you know, we weren't sure what we were going to do. And um, I remember thinking, if I could steal the money and get away with it, <laughs> I might think about that. And I mentioned that to a friend, and she just, I just saw her light up, and I thought, I've got an idea here. And that's where because getting a lot sassy of people, was born. A lot of people are going, you know, and and it's, you know, you want to do the best for your parents, but I didn't want her to move in with me because, you know, I. That would not have worked, right. and uh, you know, physically, where my husband and I live, and also just she sure. she had a lot of a lot of um, things brought on by the dementia that kept her up much of the night and everything. So she she really is Lizzie, and and I think she'd be really pleased with, with what I've done with Lizzie because because <laughs> my mom and some of the stories um, I use were you know like. Like the time my mother, my mother loved to smoke. I mean, she was a smoker, and, the, and she had COPD, so she wasn't supposed to smoke. And she wasn't after we moved her in there. She was doing real good, but she started sneaking cigarettes from, you know. And I, I got a call from there, and they said, um, yeah, your mom was in, she was in her room, and they, we tried to get in. We smelled smoke, and she put her walker up against the door so they couldn't get the door open. <laughs> and so that kind of stuff just, you know, and, and now I, I get people telling me stories about their, you know, their folks, stuff, stuff they've gone through. And it's one of those things when you're going through it, it's so difficult. It's it's heartbreaking, but it's also kind of funny in ways, and you don't, almost often don't see the humor until later. Because um, sometimes you just have to keep talking to them like, you know, they're, at one point, she was. Um, we were taking her to another facility for um, evaluation. She thought she was in England. It was partly her medications. It was just really weird. And she's going on about about going golfing. And so we just, my husband and I were just, you know, okay, you know, we'll get there soon. We'll you go know, get your just, bag. You know, Hold on. <laughs> you know, it'll be fine. And we got there, and she says, "Well, where, where's the golf? Where's you know?" And so, but it, it, you know, it was um, it, it was a real learning experience, and, and it was. Um, I was trying to do the best I could for her. And that's what Robin is doing, I think, with her mom. So Robin is, there, there's certainly a lot of biographical. Yeah, Robin's probably the closest character to myself. I've, I've was that there. scary as a writer? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Because, um, you know, it forced me to look at some things that, that were kind of hard to deal with. And that was, that was scary. Um, but I pushed through it and, um, you know, I, you know, I'm hoping it. Do you think you know, I'm, going through that whole experience changed you as a writer just from the way that you approach storytelling? I mean, was there a, mm -hmm. I don't want to say honesty or depth to things, but like if, if you're mining what you're mining mm -hmm. to get to what you're writing and getting sassy and then getting lucky, it, there, it seems to me there'd be a, a, an emotional investment that because this is based on a real person yeah. as opposed to Quint. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Did it change the way that you approached storytelling? I think so. I think it, it made me look deeper into characters. And, you know, I, I've always tried to kind of make my stories character driven, but th this was really, um, you know, it, it's, it's not only something I need to do, it's something I want to do. I, wanna, I wanted to know what she was going through, and I wanted to, you know, and, and that is kind of, you know, I'm, I'm doing that with more characters now, even supporting ones. You know, I'm just. Um, it's it's a more intimate experience, that which sounds weird, but uh, um, the right. I, I don't was, think it sounds weird yeah, at all. I mean, yeah. I think that's. Yeah, I. Um, you know, whereas it, it it's kind of easy to be more surface, um, but I. I'd rather write deeper, and and I think that's why, you know, these stories um, aren't you know, 
as you know they're plot driven, but there there's just a lot of there's relationship real, there's stuff real going humanity on. Yeah, in it. Yeah. yeah, there is. And and I I, I want to keep doing that, I guess, um, because that's that's the kind of writing I I'm sort of evolving into, I guess. Yeah.